Hello and welcome to this new video in which we are going to take a quick look at this motherboard. Now this motherboard, as you can see here from its name, is ASRock, which is the company that manufactured this motherboard, and the number is G41M VS3 or version 3. Now as you can see, we have other information right here, like this motherboard supports dual channel DDR3, RAM at uh, a board rate of 1333 and we have other specifications. Now let's take a quick look at this motherboard. First right here we have the memory slots. As you can see if you click these two the memory will pop up and this is the memory that is installed on this motherboard. As you can see we have uh, memory on both sides and as you can see this is the DDR3 uh, 1333 2GX16 UDIMM Now I won't explain everything here because all of this will be explained in the coming lectures but what you need to know, to know is that this is a DDR3 memory and as you can see the label is still on it A data is the manufacturing company and this is the slot that you need to take good care of depending on the type of memory there might be one slot two slots and the location of the slot might be different this is also explained in the memory section of this course now when you want to place your memory you need to make sure that these clicks are opened and make sure that you are aligning the notch with the place here on your memory slot just click it press down and as you can see now the memory is placed now to remove it click away and they will be removed now this is the memory let's take a quick look at the main component here which is the cpu this is the fan and this is basically how the CPU is cooled down and it takes out the heat from this heat dissipation aluminium and we have a dedicated section in this course that covers this heat sink as you can see uh, there are different types and the most common ones nowadays are uh, liquid cooling systems and as you can see this is the 12 volt DC Intel fan and this is the heat dissipator and it's made of aluminium and it has this shape to make sure that it dissipates heat. Now let's go to the important part or the main part on our motherboard which is the CPU. As you can see this is an Intel Pentium 4 CPU and you can see the number here it is it's 3 gigahertz cpu and 2 mega 806 which is the l1 l2 and l3 caches and they are explained in our uh, course and the cpu section and if you want to take out the cpu you just need to click here this clip and move it away as you can see it's, it has this notch to place it down now click here to move it away and as you can see here is our CPU and this is the CPU slot and we explained it in details in the CPU section now this is the place where CPU is placed and this is the CPU itself as you can see it doesn't have any pins these are only dots uh, cover dots so that it can connect the CPU with these dots on the board and this structure is basically used by Intel AMD has a different structure which will be explained in the coming lessons but what you need to know at this point is that this is an LGA 775 socket for Intel Core 2 Extreme, Core 2 Quad, Core 2 Duo, Pentium, Dual Core, Celeron and uh, it supports all of these CPUs and you can simply 
put your CPU right here and to know that you placed your CPU in the right direction there is a notch here as you can see this notch so you won't be able to miss it if you try to place it like like here it won't stick as you can see we have a little bit as you can see here so it won't stick on place so you need to place it in the right direction like that now once you place it you need to cover it using this hod and make sure that the cpu is in place by looking at this angle as you can see here it's in place now simply click here move this away and then clip it now these four openings are for the heat sink as you can see this heat sink it will it can easily be placed like that and you can hold them down on place now this is another heat dissipator and right here we have the SATA connectors here you can uh, connect your hard drive your uh, CD-ROM and other uh, components that support SATA and as you can see the naming is SATA SATA 1 SATA 3 SATA 2 and SATA 4 so this is where you place your hard drives and CDs now if you have an old hard drive with an IDE connection you can connect it here and as you can see these are the main ports on our motherboards now as you can see this is where you connect your audio input and output and this is where you connect your ethernet cable these are the usb ports these are usb ports as well this is the vga and modern motherboards comes with a display port and hdmi port now this one right here is where you place your mouse and keyboard uh, all mouse and keyboards used to be placed using this connector now it's called a ps2 connector and as you can see everything is labeled in this motherboard on this motherboard this is ps2 kbms now as you can see we have capacitors we have different uh, electronic components on this motherboard and most of them you won't use or you won't have to deal you don't have to deal with because these are for uh, handling the internal operation but what you need to deal with is the sockets now here we have the main power socket and your power supply must have a connector that matches this one and here you can place your cpu fan now the cpu fan usually this one comes with a connector this is the connector and in order to place it you need to make sure that you have the right direction and let's take a quick look as you can see here this is the cpu fan area and you can simply place it like that as you can see it goes inside the notch now if you try to place it the other way around you might break it and it might be placed but you will burn the cpu fan and make sure to follow the guides this notch is a guide and it has the same notch here so before connecting a component make sure that you are connecting it in the right direction now these are the main components on our motherboard and this is a quick look before we dive in uh, and uh, show you the theoretical information that you need to link with the practical information that we are explaining here this is the CMOS battery and it's basically a battery that holds the data that we don't want to lose when the power goes off and there are other connectors for the power pins and here we have as you can see USB connectors so if you have a USB uh, let's say USB uh, port on your uh, case you can connect the connectors for the USB port here 
and if you have another fan that you need to connect you can connect it here using these two or these three pins sorry now again it has a notch that you need to follow and here we have the audio HD audio connectors now you can place the HD audio connectors right here depending on how many channels you have in your case and this is the PCI port as you can see it's a white port and we are let's explain in details in the coming sections and this is another port and these ports are usually used to connect extra modules here we have a graphic card as you can see and this graphic card is uh, connected on one of these sockets now if you bring your graphic card you need to make sure if you log you can see that the graphic card can easily be connected on this port and I can easily place it now the graphic card is connected I'm sure that you can see I will disconnect it again but as you can see the notch is in place this is how you can easily add an external graphic card to your board using this board and I will explain the graphic card in a minute but these are basically uh, two uh, sockets that you can use to add expansion cards like graphic card uh, let's say ethernet card wireless card and other stuff now that's it this is the memory this is the cpu these are the expansion cards this is where you place your sata and this is where you place your ide hard drive and this is the power connector and we also have here the ports for your motherboard different ports as you can see now again this is an intel cpu that has lga uh, socket and it's explained in the cpu section now let's take a quick look at different types of memory this is as you can see we have more than one memory type this is a two gigabyte memory made by samsung and this is a laptop memory i think that you can see this memory now as you can see it has more on both sides and you can get more information by looking up the serial and the board rate is 800 megahertz now this is another memory it's kingston from another company and this heatsink is for cooling down the memory and it doesn't have memory ICs on this side now as you can see from this we don't have a lot of information we just have few numbers so you can look up it's made in the USA and you can look up the serial number to get more information using the data sheet now this is the third memory which is the a data and as you can see they have different sockets or different notch this has one notch this has two notches and this one has one notch too so this can easily be placed inside a laptop okay and different type of memories are explained in the memory section of this course so go check it out to know more about different sockets and different notches and different types of memory which one is right for you that this was a quick practical introduction section just to get you started with the motherboard how it looks and the different components that we have on this motherboard now this motherboard has th these components but other motherboards has different components as well so you shouldn't just stick with this motherboard go and check out your own motherboard and if you there is an element that you don't know you can share a screenshot and we can help you know it if you have any question please ask in the q and board if there is anything that is not clear go to that specific section that is uh, uh, that talks about this part we have a section for the cpu section for the memory slots section for the P uh, slots pci and expansion slot we also have a section for the fan as you can see and 
all of this is explained in details. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching. This is Ashraf from Educational Engineering Team.